Good evening. Here is the world news from VGI TV, Babagba Gede Imo TV. I am Mori Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines from the world news. U.S. embarks on evacuating families from Abuja over terror alerts. Terror alert, Julius Beggar closes down operations in Abuja. DSS police order storm Abuja over federal warnings. Federal alert still, elders urge Nigerians to ignore threats but be vigilant. Still on terror alert, most within government working to collapse Nigeria, say security operatives. Kosil's alleged plot to assassinate Inamde Kanu in Abuja. Nopen writes Sawolu threatens shutdown over harassment. The king for his rifle, gunmen kill police sergeant in Kalawa. And lastly, from the foreign story, Obama says democracy at stake in U.S. midterms. And on sports, Osime grabs a trick in Napoli's big win against Sassuolo. Now the news in detail. The United States of America said it was evacuating families out of Abuja due to a security threat, but not diplomats clarifying an earlier statement. A State Department statement revealed on Thursday that the U.S. had ordered the exit of families as well as non-emergency personnel from Abuja, developing precautionary measures after an earlier alert to U.S. citizens. The State Department also clarified Friday that the order to leave applied only to family members that are non-essential workers were being given the choice, but were not required to depart. The Department of State made a decision to recommend other departure for family members in Abuja out of an ambulance, abundance of caution related to an elevated risk of terror attacks in Nigeria, a department spokesperson said. Details of the terrorist threat have not been disclosed, but Nigeria has been on high alert since Sunday after the United States and several other Western nations raised their travel alerts. Moving to the next story, still on the terror alert. As the terror alerts released by the United States government and United Kingdom, UK, asking the citizens against traveling to Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria, continue to find anxiety and fear. The giant construction company, Julius Berger, has closed down operations in the city. Julius Berger is the second company to take the decision after the popular Jabi Lake Mall acting in response to the terrorism attack on public places in the nation's capital city decided to close down operations till further notice, despite the federal government downplaying the threat, saying that the country is safe. In a statement cited by Nigerian Tribune on Saturday, signed by the company's managing director and corporate security manager, Engineer Lars Bitcher and Paul Nelson, respectively, the company advised its staff to avoid public premises during the weekend. The statement said, in response to the ongoing security concern within the FCT and central Abuja, it is advised to avoid all public events within the FCT environment, including supermarkets, restaurants, hotels, bars, clubs, and other areas where many meet. This advice is applicable from 28 October 2022 in the evening until Monday, 31st, 10, October 2022 in the morning. From that story, we go to another terror alert story. The national security agencies have deployed the operatives in numbers to the federal capital territory of FCT over the terror alert issued by the United States of America and United Kingdom persisted on Friday. Despite the reaction from the federal government that there was no cause for panic, the apprehension in the atmosphere in Abuja has called for a massive flood of security agents. Vanguard learned on Saturday that there was a massive deployment of special forces and the elite presidential guards brigade in the Abuja metropolis to prevent possible attack Armed security personnel, including policemen, were seen patrolling the city center, the Kubwa Expressway, Jabi, and other strategic points. They were also seen around the NNPC Towers and War College, both in the Central Business District and around the Central Bank of Nigeria headquarters. And to the next story, still on terror alerts. The Patriotic Elders Network for Peace and Justice have urged Nigerians to ignore the US, UK, Australia, and Canada over security threat a lot and go about their normal businesses but be vigilant on security matters. The elder's national president, Dr. Bature Abdul Aziz, alleged that countries raising security a lot are nations famous for inciting chaos 
creating uncertainty among his peaceful world nations. He said that there are plans to create chaos, especially among his Commonwealth countries and other countries have since been exposed. The network tax every patriotic citizen to stand up for Nigeria through prayers and other ways. It is high time to completely offer our armed forces the support they need, especially passing up information on security to the relevant agencies because developed nations using and uses their citizens as a source of information to tackle such security related problems. Security agencies should also cast their satellites on NGOs who are promoting these Western ideologies to purposely cripple our development. Regardless of their social status, they should be fully furnished according to the law of our land. Moving to the next story as regards the terror alert. A security consultant, Ladi Thompson, says moles in the government are working to collapse Nigeria. It seems that some elements within the government, moles within, are working together with the agenda to collapse the country from within, he said on Channel Television's Sunrise program on Saturday. According to Thompson, the federal government's policies of absorbing captured terrorists into the Nigerian society, failure to prosecute non-terror financiers, among others, are signs of alleged complicity. There are moles in high places in Nigeria, and what is happening to our people is that when terrorism is being used clinically, one of its objectives is to break the will of the nation, he emphasized. Thompson said the alert of imminent terror attacks in Abuja, released by the United Kingdom and the United States, must not be ignored. Abuja is a matter of time if we don't change strategies, he said, and advised that low-tech devices should be deployed in Abuja immediately. The security expert, however, expressed confidence that Nigeria will surmount the current security challenges. On its path, a global security analyst at Demola Abbas urged the federal government to forget the messenger and focus on the message. Moving on to the next story as regards the Namdekan. The attention of the coalition of Southeast youth leaders, COSEL, has raised an alarm, alleging that the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazi Inamdekanu, is no longer safe in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. The coalition raised the alarm following the recent terror alert by the United States, United Kingdom, and Canada that some terrorists were planning to launch a deadly attack in the federal capital territory, Abuja. Reacting, the President General of the coalition, Good luck, Ibem, in a statement yesterday, alleged that the move by the federal government to keep Kano in DSS custody, despite a court order, confirmed the plot to assassinate him, Kano, using the terror attack as a cover-up to hide the involvement of some forces. Since Great Britain is evacuating our citizens from Abuja over the planned terror attack, we call on Britain to also evacuate Mazi Namdekanu, who is a British citizen from Abuja, in the same time. The coalition warned that the terror allowed by different countries should be taken seriously stressing that previous incidents had proven that the U.S. intelligence gatherings were accurate. Moving on to the next story as regards Nopeng. The Lagos State Branch of the Nigeria Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers have written to the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sawolu, to check the activities of persons it described as unscrupulous elements arousing its members. The letter dated October 28, 2022, said the union was deeply constrained to bring to the governor's urgent attention the unwholesome activities of some criminal elements parading themselves along the Lekki Free Trade Zone Road, Eleko Ibeju, Lekki, as community youths under the name of Indigenous Unity Forum. The association alleged that the youths had been intimidating and extorting money from petroleum truck drivers who are no peng slash PTD members plying the road. The association which threatened to down the tools of the plight was not addressed, said it was only out to serve Lagos State and the nation in general for effective and efficient distribution of petroleum products for industrial and domestic use. If you're just joining, you are watching the world news from BGI TV. More to come. There was pandemonium Saturday morning at Egerton Street in the Calabar South local government area following the killing of a police sergeant, Peter Ikwen, by unidentified gunmen. The police for regulations officer, Espin Irene Upo, who confirmed the tra tra tragic events, I beg your pardon, to Vanguard on telephone said it was quite unfortunate and won't go unpunished. From the information I have, the incident took place at about 8 a.m. today. He just stepped out from the Obong's palace, where he was posted on duty, but was attacked to Attaka, the vision. He wanted to ease himself before he was shot and killed. 
It was on his way that his assailant accosted him close to the dustbin near the palace of the Obang and shot him. They also carted away his rifle in the process, were sympathized with the family of the disease, but we won't relent in getting those that did this. We will hunt them down. The long arm of the law will surely catch up with them, she concluded. And to the next story is from the foreign scene. Former U.S. President Barack Obama said Friday that democracy is at stake in next month's midterm elections in the United States as he eats his foster on the campaign trail. The Democratic power player, who remains a hugely popular figure in his party, told a boisterous rally in Georgia that everyone had to get out and vote to prevent election conspiracy, tourists getting their hands on the levers of power. It is not enough to let Democrats at the top of the ticket. A fire of Obama told the crowd in the suburbs of Atlanta. We need to elect good people up and down the ballot. Across the country, some of the folks who try to undermine our democracy are running for offices that will oversee the next election. And if they win, there is no telling what might happen. Obama, who has kept a relatively low profile since leaving office in 2017, was guest of honor at the rally in Georgia, where two extremely close contests fueled by tens of millions of dollars are captivating America. And to the last story on sports. Victor Osime scored a hat trick as the Holy Trash to swallow 4-0 at the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium on Saturday afternoon. It was Osime's fourth senior career hat trick. The 23-year-old has now scored six goals in his last four appearances for the Petnope. The Nigerian international opens current for the home team on four minutes after he was set up by Kivya Karavchekla. It provided assist for Sime's second goal of the game on the 19th minute. The same man added the third goal in the 39th minute. Osime scored his third and the police fourth of the game, 23 minutes from time. He has now scored eight goals in eight league appearances for Luciano Spalletti's side this season. Napoli remained unbeaten in Serie A this season so far. That ends the world news from BGI TV today. Before we go, some major headlines. U.S. embark on evacuating families from Abuja over terror alerts. We also brought to you DSS police orders storm Abuja over terror warnings. Still on terror warnings, modes within government working to collapse Nigeria, says security operatives. And lastly on sports, Osime grabs a trick in Napoli's big win against Sassuolo. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Bababadede Imo TV. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell, select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of your goods and services, coverage of events and function, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for other placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Morire Rebila Lawa. Good evening. Oh, na -na -na. If you want to know what's going on in city Or you want to listen to the latest news and gist No stress, oh, just listen to BGITV BGITV, you are one in a million